Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, I was searching online, as always, getting some information about technology. And I found this article about this guy. Found a way of getting Windows 8.1 Service Pack 1 early. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Windows 8.1 Service Pack 1 one early now uh it looks like microsoft wanted to push out service pack one for 8.1 uh i believe around april uh for a massive full windows updates that they're going to be pushing out to everyone and they wanted to hold out and give it to us on april but it looks like you could get it now and i'm going to show you guys how to do it uh, i'm actually going to follow the instructions that was provided on the link which I'm going to provide at the bottom of the description so let's get started uh, so as you can see I have Windows 8.1 no service pack at all and I'm going to show you guys that I don't have any service pack at all so I'm going to go to my PC go to computer system properties and no service pack at all so let's uh, do a control R and let's get into a our reg edit so reg uh, reg edit make sure I spell it right and yes on this and now for the instructions on the website it wants you to get into your H key local machine now before you even do this to your productive machine I just want to keep you guys uh, I just want to warn you do this on your own risk all right guys because if you mess it up or you don't know what you're doing, most likely you're going to brick your machine. Brick basically stands for mess up your machine. It won't start up. And I don't want to get those angry comments at all. Okay, guys. So please, this is a warning. Do this on your own risk. Got it? So you want to go inside your H key local machines. Uh, you want to go to software. And within software, you want to go to Microsoft. And within Microsoft, you want to go into the Windows node. So let's go all the way down, Windows node. Now, within Windows node, it wants you to create a new key. And we're going to need to call it. So we're going to right-click inside here, go to New. And we're going to do a new key. There it goes. And from the instructions, he wants now reboot your PC and check Windows updates. So what I'm gonna do guys right now is I am going into my, uh, my this PC and I wanna show you guys, I'm going to my system properties and go to Windows update. As you can see, I have three important updates that are available if I check on it. Uh, it's not service pack one. Now, uh, I believe service pack one from the instructions that the guy gave us on this site, it's KP, KB, 29 19 4, 4, 2. once again the service pack one for 8.1 windows 8.1 is kb 29 19 4, 4, 2, which i don't have in the list and i'm going to cancel that cancel that close this and let's reboot our machine and see if it pops up and we're back from our reboot uh so let's go inside our desktop and within our desktop, I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to right click on my Windows start button. <laughs> and let's go into our system portion of the machine. And let's go to Windows updates and see what happens. I think on the last I had three updates. And it doesn't look like, what's the one optional? I got a bunch of one optionals, but it's not the one that I'm supposed to get. So, what's the deal? So, how about this? Uh, let's let's just let's push out these updates. Let's push out these updates that I have, uh, and let's let's push them out and see what happens. Now, the key thing is is to try to get the KB twenty nine nineteen four four two update which it looks like is supposed to be the Windows 8.1 service pack one. Uh, I'm still getting these guys. Uh, let's let's push out. I'm gonna push these updates out and uh, let's see what happens. All right guys, so I pushed out all the updates that I needed on my virtual machine and I rebooted, but I still can't get that particular. Uh, KB29 19442 to show up during my Windows update. 
but uh, the site did provide us with the MSU files and I did download them but I want to check one more time before I even start downloading and installing the physical files uh, so let's go back into Windows updates and uh, I still got three optional ones which are these guys but I don't want these guys let's check for updates and see if anything is gonna pop up again nothing is popping up but it's okay let's close that up my share folder where I dropped everything at and uh, I have updates and I have them in the order it's supposed to be so here's the 2919442 and uh, we are going to double click on it and we're going to install it and uh, the system cannot find the path let's drag it and drop it to the desktop and let's open it there it goes uh, do you want to install the following software update yes let's hit yes on that and it's installing awesome so installation is completed let's close it and let's do a reboot on this machine let's reboot it so I'm gonna do a control -Alt delete and I'm gonna reboot this machine restart it okay so we are back so let's go back inside our desktop and let's get into our system properties right click on the start menu go to system and from there let's go into Windows update because from my understanding once you install this particular update it's gonna want you to check updates and see if anything was pushed down to the machine if not I do have the physical updates to be pushed on this machine to see if we could get service pack 1 or update 1 for Windows 8.1 and nothing yet so let's get into our share folder or my share folder where I have my stuff located and let's go to number two drag it to the desktop right click and hit open and let's install the second and yes install it please and once it's completed this one is definitely gonna want you to restart so let's restart this one and we're back guys so let's get into our desktop and we installed our second update and let's continue so let's get into uh, the share folder that I have my transfer I place all the updates and let's go to number three which is KB 29 which is extremely hard to find and uh, your boy Bernardo has found it uh, what I'm going to do for you guys, for those that do want to test it out, I'm going to package this up and place a link at the description part so you guys can get a copy of all six updates. Uh, if you want to test it out, again, I advise you not to test this out on a physical Windows 8.1 machine that you're using it for everyday use because if something happens that's it guys you're gonna break your machine and your machine's not gonna work properly I'm doing everything on a virtual machine uh, so with my virtual machine I can always take uh, snapshots and revert back into a good clean version okay uh, so I started the third Windows update and let's see what happens so as you can see it's finished scanning and it's allowing me to install it so let's hit yes and it's finally done wow this update the third update was pretty huge huh, that's what she said <laughs> uh, but it took a while I mean it took between 35 to 45 minutes even a little bit more just to install 2919355 now this is the huge huge one so let's restart the machine it's completed and we're back okay so the third Windows update has been pushed out but I kind of noticed something I don't know if this was part 8.1 or a, a power button is over here I never noticed this before hmm strange let's go to the start button and, and what's this uh, the Windows store app on the taskbar uh, what's what's going on uh, so let's let's right click on the start menu go to systems and see what system tells us system still tells us that we're still 8.1 pro but it's kind of strange because 
I received this new app and when you go to the start menu or the Metro the start button is here so I don't know this is pretty interesting so let's let's continue our Windows update journey and I'm go back into my transfer update and let's do number four I'm gonna drag it and drop it into the desktop and we're gonna right click and we're gonna open and we're gonna continue pushing our Windows updates until we get all six of them completed we're gonna hit yes for this okay so update number four is completed I'm not gonna reboot the machine even though you should reboot the machine I'm just gonna push out five so let's drag and drop five and uh, let's push out five and uh, hit yes on this again and uh, just wait until uh, this is actually not a huge Windows update this is a feature pack and number five is completed it was really quick so let's close that one up let's go back and let's push out this this last one actually number six and number six is actually KB 29 right click on that hit open and again searching hit yes and let it install again the last three uh, five wait, six five and four four five and six are feature packs and what I'm gonna do is close and let's do our final reboot again when I pushed out the third update which was KB 29 the first thing that I noticed was power button up top and when we went to the desktop I saw the Windows Store icon on the taskbar so let's do a final reboot and uh, look around and see what else this is this is something strange that I, I noticed too a lot of stuff looks kind of gibberish but let's restart it and I uh, catch you guys when we are logged in And we're back on our final reboot. So uh, I'm at the start screen or Metro screen or Metro interface or Metro UI, whatever you want to call it. Let's type in Windows update. And from here, we want to check for updates. And the reason why I want to check for updates is because I want to show you guys uh, my history of all the updates that I push out. No smoke and mirrors. We're going to view your history and here it goes these are all the updates that I pushed out one two three four five six in that order uh, and it looks like we have Windows 8.1 update one even though it is not uh, identified as that inside the system preferences but some of the rumors about um, some of the apps as you can see this was never I was never able to do this this is pretty cool I, I got into PC settings and now it's part of the taskbar how cool is that I think if I go inside the store and purchase something in the store and download it I'm able to pin it to the taskbar that was another rumor that uh, 8.1 update one was supposed to happen you know I'm, I'm pretty excited about this this is pretty cool the fact that I'm able to go into the Windows Store within the desktop mode this is pretty cool uh, that was pretty cool too was that okay these are all the apps this is this is common uh, but the, the, the things that catch my eye real quick is uh, two things that catch my eye the the power option is right on your face on the start menu. Awesome. You don't have to go anymore into your PC settings, right? Or right click on here, which is a lot of people would do. Uh, the start button would take you there, but the best thing about it, when you click the start button, the taskbar is still there until you put your mouse away with it. Once you push, once you put your mouse away from the taskbar, it disappears. So that's pretty, be nice if you took your mouse and put it down on the taskbar it would pop up but hey it's okay uh, another two cool thing that I found out is that the store app is pinned to the task and uh, if you open up like PC settings like I did before to show you guys on my history of my Windows updates uh, when I closed it 
it was still part of my taskbar. But as you can see, once the mouse is away from the taskbar, it disappears and you can't bring it back. The only way you could bring it back if you got to go back into your desktop. So hopefully you guys enjoy this this amazing find. Uh, I'm going to place all the information at the bottom. I'm going to zip these six updates up. For those that want to take the adventure and try this out yourself, I'm going to place all the stuff like this so you guys know which one goes first, second, third, and so on. So I'm actually going to zip this particular file the way it is with all the updates. Go test it out. Keep in mind, you're doing this on your own risk. Uh, a warning, do not do this on a physical machine that you use every day because there's a good chance that it will brick your machine. Uh, I, I did notice a couple of things when it restarts a lot of the wording is gibberish and bundled up like crazy so please keep in mind you're doing this on your own risk uh, and I catch you guys later if you have any comments below leave them below I am going to continue testing this stuff out and pushing more videos out to you or what I find and I catch you guys later peace out